Hi and welcome back everybody. Hope you're all having a fantastic day out there. A very beautiful article came out today and I've went ahead and highlighted the important points for you all. Uh, I wanna share them with you today. This is on stable coins and regulation. This is a very, very important topic. So stay with me till the end. Um, I'm going to wrap it and tie it all together for you. Uh, if you like XRP, you like XLM, you like these ISO coin videos, you know what to do. Drop that X in the comment section below. Of course, click that like button for the algorithm and let's get started. On Thursday, which is today, the House Financial Services Committee Subcommittee on Digital Assets, Financial Technology and Inclusion will hold another hearing on stable coins. This is the second the subject has been spoke on in the last four weeks. There are two more drafts of the bills that were posted and they were done by Chair uh, Republican Patrick McHenry as well as Maxine Waters. Now, the latest hearing of newly circulated drafts signal the House's commitment to introducing and passing a bill in this area. Broad agreement among the testifying witnesses and many members of the subcommittee that congregational, congressional, excuse me, action is urgently needed on payment stable coins. We can all attest and agree to that, right? Payment stable coins backed by one to one separate from other types of non-payment stable coins. Payment stable coin issuers should be subject to prudent framework. We can all agree there, right? With safeguards such as reserve and redemption requirements, etc. Now, what is important to Congress? Maintaining the US dollar dominance and financial inclusion are critical public policy objectives that can be advanced with proper regulation and oversight of payment stable coins. We see what's happening here, right? They want to bring this digitalization together so that we can maintain strength with the US dollar. What Congress has not done is proposed regulation, or excuse me, regulating payment stable coins though, say a securities framework. They're steering away from securities. The SEC, on the other hand, appears poised to do just that. Financial regulators, listen to this, should not front run Congress with regulation by enforcement. And that's essentially the title of this article. Stay with me, we've got a few important details to share and we'll tie this all in together. The focus of the recent hearings and draft bills is primary, primarily regulation of payment stablecoins like USDC or Tether, which are estimated to account for 90% of the overall stablecoin market and play an important role in the crypto ecosystem. U.S. dollars are preferred denomination of settlement for many crypto transactions, but without stable coins, making payments in U.S. dollars or any other currency in exchange for crypto requires a third party, such as payments processor or bank centralization, right? This is the beauty of stable coins. This is the beauty of cryptocurrency decentralization so that we have interoperable standards on blockchains such as Stellar, such as what Ripple has created using smart contracts. And another added benefit there is the real time, right? 24 seven settlements. So while these bills vary in their scope and approach, the evidence is strong that bipartisan consensus to regulate payment stable coins as cash instruments, this is what Congress wants, not as securities. So the draft bill would create prudent framework for regulating payment stable coins with important safeguards and limitations, such as capital and reserve requirements, redemption, 
time frame requirements, segregation of assets, limitations or prohibitions on commingling, etc., treating payment stablecoin issuers as financial institutions subject to bank securities or secrecy act. And so finally, various stable coin bills have been proposed to Congress, but only one from 2019 would potentially give SEC authority to regulate payment stable coins. So highly unlikely that they'll be able to re regulate. SEC has not proposed a rule, issued guidance, or brought enforcement action with respect to payments with stable coins. SEC Chair Gary Gensler has repeatedly stated that he believes these so-called stable coins may be securities describing them as poker chips at a casino or when used within crypto exchange platforms, possibly security based swapped. It is clear the SEC views at least some payment stable coins as securities. Holders of payment stable coins are not motivated by expectation though of profit. They are not motivated by this, a necessary requirement under Howey and a key factor of multi-part balancing tests under Reeves. So meanwhile, what is the CFTC doing? The Commodities Future Trading Commission has asserted in multiple enforcement actions that certain stable coins, including USDT, USDC, BUSD, and DAI are commodities. Yes, commodities. Who is partnered with the CFTC? Stellar is an advisor to the CFTC. They have also stated that USDC, which works with Stellar, and other stable coins similar to it would be commodities unless Congress says otherwise. Stable coin bills are clearly a high priority for both parties and Congress. Okay, we're going to wrap this up. The need for comprehensive leg legislation on payment stable coins provides Congress with an opportunity to enact sensible regulation over an important segment of the crypto market. The financial regulators should not front run the democratic process. Let Congress do its job. Very, very bullish article in my personal opinion on what Congress believes as far as stable coins, how they should be regulated, how this crypto market should be regulated. And if it in fact does happen the way we all believe it should and the way it appears bipartisan support within Congress believes it should, we will see XRP, XLM, some of our favorite ISO 20 22 compliant coins as commodities. And we know where the prices of these two cryptocurrencies, as well as the others that are ISO compliant is going, if they are in fact deemed commodities. That's all I got for you for now. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your comments below. Don't forget to drop that X, click the like button, and we'll see you all in the next video.